What up everybody, Astro Manny here, back at it with another video, and um, I'm losing sunlight here. I'm losing a little bit of stand light. So um, I'm going to get this intro out the way while you guys can see the beautifulness. I am a little sick, so uh, yeah, hello with that. Um, you know, make sure you smash that like button and uh, leave a comment and subscribe for the sickness. <laughs> Working while we're sick. Don't worry about it, guys. I got your back. Anyways, so today we're going to talk about the new EPTU and master modes and basically combat. It's basically combat evolved. All right. And the reason why I'm sitting here with this intro of me sitting by these three ships, we have the, this is actually the F7C Hornet. But um, seeing that we're going to get the F7A, it's probably going to change to the F7A eventually. But right now it's the F7C Hornet, the um, Anvil Arrow, and the Aegis Gladius, right? And you ask, why do you have these three ships here? Well, we're talking about, like I said, combat evolved, okay? Master Modes is coming, ship combat, and everything is evolving, okay? And being the king of bounties here... I want to experiment and find out what is the new phase of ship combat for you guys PvP and PvE AI related okay so we're gonna go through with the new master modes and everything guns have changed all right so we're gonna cut from here in a second and go to Urkel this is not gonna be a gameplay video this is gonna be a kind of stats on paper kind of game uh, video so but why I'm showing off these three ships here is because we're going to choose a control ship, okay? We're going to choose a control ship to test out the new master modes and the new weapons. Shields seem to be kind of stagnant. All the shields seem to kind of be the same. But weapons are different. Weapons have characteristics now, ladies and gentlemen. So we're going to be choosing. I'm going to do a poll, but I just wanted to do this in a video for you guys to be aware of the poll i'm going to do a poll which ship do we choose to be the control ship that we're going to try out basically every single weapon in the game and test out different weapon loadouts for the control group before we start going into different ships we're going to use only one ship for a really long time in master modes to test out the loadouts of all the different weapons because weapons have personalities now they have differences different ranges different speeds different things they do distortions non-distortions ballistics lasers um like i said different velocity speeds they do different things so we're going to choose a ship to go and be the control ship i think one of the best ships to choose is probably the aegis gladius because it has three size three hard points and it's pretty simple is three threes right pretty simple to keep in control we'll just use all size threes and size threes have everything distortions ballistics gatlins cannons all the things you need you can find in a size three weapon loadout so that's why the gladius is probably the best option for just the balancedness right but for extra spice and stuff we have the arrow that we can do this has the two size threes and the two size ones which will give us a little bit of um different size variants that we can throw off in our experimenting different size variants as in um we can use size three weapons and size one weapons and kind of change and have different weapon loadouts with different velocity speeds and things like that so having different hard points might be helpful in that situation plus it's everyone's almighty favorite combat fighter right and then of course we have the new kid on the block the f7c mark ii um, which will maybe change into the f7a mark ii when that comes out we've lost our lighting now so this is no longer about the stand light but the thing with this build this ship is it gives us a lot of variety in different loadouts like it has size fours which which means we can go up to size fours it has the ability to do size fours size ones size twos size threes it has the ability to do all the different sizes of one through four so that's another option on our controlled ship of choice the mark ii f7c because it could basically hold one two three four sizes all four sizes can be used on this ship so let me know your guys' thoughts. That's going to be the end of this intro of me talking about this. Let's go into talking about things on paper and what to expect in the upcoming
patch for videos for Master Manny, the king of bounties. I'll see you guys on the other side when we pull up Urkel and talk about the weapons. Yeah. All right, guys, we're back, and we're not going to take too much long and make this video very long or anything, because this is a preview video of what's going to come for the channel and for the King of Bounties and for Bounties in general and combat evolved in Star Citizen. So combat has evolved, guys. We are moving on to Master Modes. We are um, slowing things down. It's just a different type of world that we're going to be living in from now on. So I want to experiment and test these um th this world that we live in and find what is good what is bad what is all right what what is fun what is efficient you know all the different things that uh, we want from our combat ships so that's what we're going to be doing here ladies and gentlemen um for some reason the f7c is bugged on urkel right now so it doesn't show the ball turret attachment or anything so we're using the f7a but what we're really going to use is the gladius and the arrow and things like that so the thing I want to show you guys in Urkel, basically, is that right now, um, I believe all shields are basically the same. As you can see, they all have the same pool HP, they all have the re same regen delay, the downed regen delay, and things like that. So the, the shields honestly are looking like it doesn't matter at all right now. Um, I just want to get that out the way. That may change. Um, it's obviously going to change in the future, just not right now in the, in the most recent patch or anything kind of relatively soon the big thing is weapons right so now we have weapons with much different characteristics as you can see you can see the different ranges of weapons some weapons can go 6,000 range some weapons have 4,000 meters a second speed we'll talk about the singes and the sledge mass drivers in a little bit but um yeah there's all different kinds of characteristics now in the in the weapons as you can see there's a speed of 4,000 meters a second a speed of 1800 meters a second a velocity these are velocity weapon velocity speeds as in like when you fire your gun how fast does the bullet travel that's what these speeds are right there's 1800 there's 1600 there's 1400 there's 1200 there's a thousand and then there's 900 and then there's 700 so there's all kinds of different speeds that these um bullets or lasers or whatever you want to call them these these weapons these projectiles travel at right all kinds of different speeds different fire rates we have different fire rates different alpha damage how much damage does each in particular projectile do um, different ammo counts burst dps all kinds of things like i said weapons have personalities now and so that's what we're going to be doing over the next couple of weeks and stuff when master modes comes out completely this eptu is still not playable at the moment so i cannot do this testing currently because the game is just unplayable guys you cannot go do ship combat in eptu right now so we can only talk about this on paper this is all exciting stuff that i want to test in game but this is all we can do right now is look at the stuff on paper. But this is just what I want to show you guys is that these builds with different DPS ranges and different damages and different things are all coming. And we can expect to see crazy things change in the meta and all kinds of stuff on what is the correct build to use, what is not the correct build to use, and all that whatnot, right? So we want to choose between the F7C and maybe possibly F7A in the future. The glad it's probably going to be the F7C until we get the F7A um, for when we're what we're talking about, right? But the Gladius has the three size three hard points, so you keep it balanced with the Gladius, right? Or the arrow, which will allow you to do size ones and size threes and try out different things, like maybe you want Gatlin ballistics on your um, size ones, and then maybe you want lasers or something on your size threes. But you could basically mix and match things, like I said. The um, ballistic ammo here, the ballistic Gatlin gun, the Yellow Jacks, they travel at a speed of, I believe, 1,600 meters a second, right? So then compared to the Panthers that travel at 1,800 meters a second, they're a little bit different in velocity speed. So the, your pips are a bit different. The You're going to land these at different times, but they're still relatively close. So maybe you can fire them all at the same time. 
like I said, we're going to do lots and lots of testing. And um, I'm going to need your guys' help with this testing. We're going to do live stream testing. We're going to do video testing. We're going to do PvP testing. We're going to do AI testing. We're going to do all this kind of testing. So what do you guys want to see? The Arrow, the Gladius, or the Hornet as our control ship? Let me know. Are you guys excited for these builds? What builds have you tried? What builds are you most excited for? Let me know all those things down in the comments. It's going to be a wild ride because, we're like I said, we're going to go through... Eventually, we're going to go through every ship in the game. We're going to start with just one ship, being the Aegis Gladius or whatever we choose in our poll or whatever I just decide is probably the best idea. We'll see. But then we're going to go through every single ship in the game and test out different loadouts on every ship in the game. We are going to go through the list. We are going to experience it all. We're going to do it all. And we're going to do it together. Thank you guys for this awesome exciting moment of a new world of combat evolved what to expect what to see what kind of builds tachyon cannons are the new meta are they are the sledge drivers the new meta do we use ballistic cannons now because they go at a speed of only 900 meters a second so you would not use we probably wouldn't use the deadbolts but things to consider is um things like this let me talk about this right the light strikes okay the light strikes these are laser cannons, right? The light strikes here. Let's just change it to this. The light strikes and FL33s. These are laser cannons. They fire at the same speed as a panther. So is it going to be better to use the panther or is it going to be better to use laser cannons when they travel the same speed now? So many exciting different things, different ranges. Look how far some of these guns go. Well, those are shotguns, but let me show you an example of one over here okay so the size four guns check out the range on the c788 the range on the c788 goes 6500 sure they fire slow but they got some crazy range so the what is going to happen guys what's going to be the meta what's going to be the best ships we're going to experience it all this is what i am excited to show you guys in the future so stay tuned to the channel subscribe guys Smash that like button. Leave comments. Let's discuss all these things below. Are you guys excited? as excited as I am? Because I'll tell you what. I can't wait to dive in and let the crazy madness begin. Yes. Well, thank you guys. This is Astro Manny signing off. I will catch you guys in the verse and around the town. Until next time. Adios, guys. Bye-bye.